Nice stop there from AJ Lavelle. Pass. And a great fast break clear. Here come the Titans. Look at the speed. Drummond goes coast to coast and then backs up. Lost his footing too. Boy, we were out on the turf before the game today. Didn't seem to be uh, that slippery, but we've seen a couple guys lose their footing. Melzi, you haven't run. Oh, Look at that. The shot right and they got goal. the goal they needed. And that's ripped home. The goal coming off the long stick of number 25, Jordan Hauke. So we mentioned the fact that he leads the team with 57 ground balls, but he's going to get some offense for the Titans. And they cut the lead in half. It's 2-1. to one. Boy, you can get some leverage on a shot when you've got that long pole, and he did. <laughs> and there's not much Scarcello can well, do about the, that. The defender took it easy on him. He just gave him a stick and then uh, laid off of him, and it allowed him to just kind of bounce off and, and get a free shot. So you got to capitalize on those opportunities, and that's exactly what he did. And I, I, you know, I think the coach needs to have a talk with that defender and say, you got to be a little harder on him there. This is a shots but he's still very good one of the elite goaltenders in all of college across we get set for the face off damian hicks for the detroit titans battling against liam o'connor for notre dame o'connor wins the opening draw and o'connor has missed the last seven notre dame games with a lower body injury his return a huge your screen matt you view of that shot you can see hebden Tries coming underneath, and Kemp makes the save. If Kemp doesn't get his piece of that, it's a goal. The ball will be in the back of the net before he stepped in the crease. There's Matt Cavanaugh wheeling and dealing for the Fighting Irish. Ball is now in the stick of Westy Hopkins. Hopkins being guarded. By Jordan Houtby, long stick midfielder, member of the Canadian national team, 153. Career caused turnovers for Halpy, active leader in NCAA Division I men's lacrosse. This is a Detroit team. It's the second year in a row they've led the country. So Coach Holtz is really allows his players to take risks and play aggressive, and it's paid dividends this season. Here we see Cavanaugh as Notre Dame trying to figure out this Detroit defense. And I'd like to see the refs put a stall warning on here. They've called it twice on Detroit early on in possessions. Notre Dame doing much of the same type of offense, and the refs aren't putting that stall warning on. This is Will Corrigan working. And time on against Notre Dame. So we've had three so far in this one, two on Detroit. First one here on the Irish. This is Ryan Foley working behind the cage, looking to get it up top. Notre Dame so far unable to penetrate this Titan D. Skip pass, picked up by Halpy. Nice interception by the senior out of St. Catharines, Ontario. Notre Dame yet to take a shot. Detroit looking to be... ...to the face-off dot. Hicks, a great story, a walk-on, not recruited, just showed up at practice one day. And they eventually made him a face-off man, made the all-rookie team in the MAC. And he's been doing great work for Coach Matt Holtz, winning 52%. He'll get the win there as Jordan Halpy picks up the loose ball. All the momentum on the side. Halpy, the long stick midfielder for Detroit, to the rack and sticks it. We'll see if Notre Dame can build off of the momentum. It's Halpy off of the wing. Ball scooting out of bounds. Halpy flicks it back into the field of play. Look out, here comes Hicks, who will run it down. 22-plus minute scoreless. Maney, the junior out of Lindbrook, New York, a second-team all-Mac selection. That time he shows he's the Mac dad. He comes around, takes the hit, and sticks it. Another face-off win for Detroit. It's Halpy collecting the ground ball. And the Titans just simply refuse to back down against Notre Dame. At the ball, it skidded across the goal line, but he's going to say it was goalie interference. When the goalie is in the cylinder, you cannot make any contact whatsoever with his stick. That time, Maney does it. No goal. Cavanaugh steps around top side. Feed across crease. Can't be handled. Here comes Halpy. As Halpy gallops across the midfield line for the Detroit Titans. And he clears it successfully. And there's always that cliche saying that you need your freshman. Very gingerly. 
We'll see if he was injured and if he can come back in this game. He is out right now. Hicks on the faceoff, gets to Halpy. Slow break opportunity, Detroit pulls it out. Smart play. Penn State 5-1 at the half. Notre Dame certainly has the firepower to get back in this game. Yeah, this, there's a lot of lacrosse left, and, and Notre Dame definitely has the players and the skill set to do it. They just need to find themselves and the energy they, that's required to outplay another team. New faceoff man, same result. However, Nick Ocello can't win it for Notre Dame. Here comes Hicks. Down to Kavanaugh. So far in this game, Notre Dame, when they've scored goals, Detroit has always answered them, not allowing the Irish to cobble together a run. But here comes Ocello. Off of the faceoff. Nice stick check by Halpy. Ground ball is picked up by Rodgers. Can the Notre Dame Fighting Irish keep the momentum going? Beautiful faceoff win from Ocello. Marlott with a shot just bounces over the cage. Marlott started the season at a first-team All-American clip. He's fallen off as of late, not asserting his will and shooting the ball like he can. How about the decision to have Liam O'Connor start the game at faceoff? He's missed the past uh, four-plus weeks with an injury. He comes back, really doesn't have much success there in the first half. What do you, what do you think of that decision to have him go for the first time in, in weeks in a, in a tournament game? I'm going to trust Coach Corrigan that practice, he looked healthy 100%. If he's your best guy, you go to him. You get a lot of reps in practice. You're practicing every day. But given the success they've had early in this game, which is not a lot, you need to change things up. Well, and that's exactly what they've done. But what hasn't changed is Detroit's tenacity on the defensive end. Here come the Titans, but Marlott with a tough ground ball. Great ride by Notre Dame. Ball's at midfield. Halpy picks it up off the carpet. Wheeling and dealing, looking for help. The Canadian, a wizard with the stick. Long pass inside. One pass over. One on one shot at goal. Brandon Beauregard on the assist from Alex Maney. And the Titans answer yet again. Credit Jordan Halpy. I hadn't seen him play before prepping for this game. He is a phenomenal player in the middle of the field. Look at this touch pass over the top that creates the two-on-one. Correction on the assist. It was Thomas Seibel, the short stick defensive midfielder with the touch pass, Matt. And just phenomenal offense transition. You know, again, it all starts with Halpy, but Detroit playing with confidence and they're playing without fear. That's a risky pass, but they clearly have the approval of their coach to put Back right there, dislodging the ball and getting a possession for Notre Dame. That could have been a five-goal lead for the Titans, but they answered the bell and they kept it at four. And you're an attackman. You've been in that situation hundreds of times throughout your playing career, Matt. How good of a defensive play was that from Miller? It's incredibly difficult when the ball is coming across the field to get your body into position defensively to stop the other offensive player and he did a, such a nice job again sliding with his body and going to where the offensive player was going not where he was currently at westy hopkins nice check by halpy here comes the break detroit being led by jordan halpy elects to pull it out you can see Halpy exiting the field, pumping his fist. The sideline is full of excitement. Good decision by Halpy right there. It, again, it's coming back to what their game plan was. That's not the first time in this game Detroit has pulled the ball out when they could have potentially had a transition opportunity. They recognize, especially in this game, Notre Dame has 14 shots with two minutes left in the third quarter. And they realize if Notre Dame doesn't get shots, they're not going to be able to come back when they're in the game, picking up every ground ball there. A simple ground ball. Just took his eyes off it. Notre Dame rips one. Nice save by A.J. Lavelle. Happy with the ground ball. We've seen Detroit play fancy-free, carefree lacrosse.